<laughs> I could. Welcome. I, could, I might just start. Right, just. Welcome to an unboxing. Yeah, that was rubbish. Do that again. Welcome to another episode of Nostalgia Nerds. Unboxing. It's off. It's not Octavius, is it? <laughs> Hello and welcome to an unboxing video where I unbox things you have sent me. Let's see what we've got this quarter month, however long it's been since the last one. Let's go. It's not a quarter of a month. Shut your face. Right. Octavius is here helping me just off camera. So let's see what we've got. Now these are from I don't know, the past six months maybe since I've blasted one. So I have no idea what's in these Throw me the rubbish. packages. These are cables from retro gaming cables. Look, look at this. This is one for a PlayStation Dreamcast. Dreamcast. It's a nice HD SCART cables. Talk to the camera, not me. What? I, I, I can talk to you as well. It works if I well, talk no, to you. It because you're talking off no, camera. It doesn't, it doesn't work. Yes, it does. You're talking off camera. This is my video, it's not yours. Looking forward to trying these out. Next package. By the way, if you do send stuff to me, it helps if you put the note inside because it's hard to keep track of all these items. I remember this, this is from a company called um, Remute. A vinyl! Limited edition configuration. And I think you put this into your uh, Mega Drive, obviously, and it's got an album on it, which is pretty cool. What's next? Is it is. Whoa! Jesus Christ! Look how sparkly this package is. So this is from. Uh, a company in America called Studio Cult and they've sent me all these patches and pins. There's a, there's a recycling bin pin. Look at that. This is a Microsoft Paint pin. Quite a chunky pin. Quite impressive. This one that says not porn. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yeah. Well, it's just going to end up under a pile. It's not. It? No, it's not. I'm going to put this patch on my jacket. I'm going to wear this proudly, and I'm especially going to wear this not porn badge. Right, give me, give me something else. This, this isn't, this isn't an item. This is something I've ordered. This is a crowdfunding campaign I all, I backed for Panic Dizzy. It has been signed by uh, the Oliver Twins. Have some of that. Jesus. So this is from a company called um, Eligu. Eligu? Eligu. So this is quite cool. This is a massive, the most complete Uno R3 oh, project starter kit. Give me that. Look at this. I wanted one of them. Look, That's at, mine. look at all this. Look at that. Look at that. So much fun can be had with this. It's got a fan. So many things you can make. I'll put a link below for this, so check it out. Give me something else. I will. What? What? I. This might be. A thing that you bought and then forgot that you bought? Possibly. Yeah, this is something I bought off eBay. This is a motherboard. This is a Pentium 3 motherboard. This is a. This. No, it's a Pentium 3 okay. motherboard. Alright. And it's a head cleaner for a cassette. You're a head cleaner for a cassette. Give me a name. What the oh, shit sorry. is that? Bitmap Bureau Limited. Hey, Peter. Please, ah, ha ha. Find enclosed a review copy of Xenocrisis, a new action title for the Sega Mega Drive. It's taken us two years to develop and manufacture following its successful Kickstarter campaign. And we hope you enjoy playing it as much as we did making it. Did they say if there's a copy in there for Octavius? There's no copies in here for you. We've got a soundtrack. We've got the Mega Drive game. I mean, there are two copies in here. No, <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. Let, 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 me, let me see what, what the reasoning is here. Oh, it's, oh, it says here, we've, as well as copies for Ashens. Well, if you wouldn't mind sorry. passing them on to him. Apparently, it's a bit late, Stuart. Your items have gone. Oh, it's a vinyl record. It's a record. It's vinyl. It's two vinyl records too. So thanks, Bitmap Bureau. I've been looking forward to this game. Basically, it's like an alien. Aliens here. You look inside, you get like a postcard. Oh, I love Mega Drive cartridges. Just something so physically 
exciting about them. Uh, this is from Kieran Hawking. This is his book of a compendium of ZX Spectrum games, which has, this is volume one, collector's edition, hardback, so many Spectrum games. Well, it's available on Amazon, I think. I've seen, I've seen it on Amazon. But again, links will be below. Ah! What the hell was that? Ah! It took my face off. I was just trying to find innovative ways. Innovative? I'm trying to add a bit of spark to your video. Innovative ways to what? Take me out? <laughs> Greetings from the Philippines. I know they're not much, but I hope this stack of CDs for various retro software and game demos would be worth your while. And I also hope you could cover much more, more rally racing games, being I'm very much into WRC, hint, Richard Burns Rally is Life, as well as some of those American girl games for the PC, as I happen to be a toy collector as well. Cheers, and I hope uh, you enjoy what I got for you, Blake. Thank you, Blake. Let's see, we've got a um, Nokia 6610 driver disc, Canon printer disc, look, look at this dust, this is proper decades worth of dust. Microsoft works and Microsoft money, one of my favourite mini office systems, Microsoft publisher, Blockbuster Entertainment Guide to Movies and Videos Second Edition, wow. the Explorapedia World of Nature, games for Windows 95, that looks pretty compelling, Pod. Oh, I've been looking for a copy of Pod for ages. Pod was one of the few games that had um, MMX processor uh, capability. Nice. <laughs> this is another book by Kieran Hawkin. This is his compendium of Atari 8-bit games. I think he sent me all three of his new books. This is a paperback, but as you can see, many games for the Atari 8-bit covering many different letters of the alphabet or for your perusal. £9.99 this one. What is, what are you, are you, a, are you a caterpillar? Yeah, it's not even heavy. It is. Here is a large box. Hi Peter, enclosed in this box of random retro games are a plethora of Sinclair ZX Spectrum games. I can only apologise for the dust as they have been in my loft for the last eight years, although they all seem in good condition. Please pass on my love and best wishes to Octavius. Oh! And give her a hug from myself as she's stronger than she thinks, and the whole retro gaming community are behind her. Oh. Yours, Anthony Walker. There is your shout. Thank, Thank you, you, Anthony. Thank you, Anthony. AKA Vulcan Raven on Twitch. Can I have the hook? Or... Oh. Okay. Yay! Jesus Christ. Get oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Look, at that. Look at how dusty that one is. This is, there's a lot of games in here. Lots of, lots of Spectrum games. Far too many to go through. I mean, there's Star Raiders 2, there's Standard Stuff. We've got the Master System games, Action Fighter. Cyrox. Which is, it's not a bad game actually. Oh look. Oh dear. There's, there's <laughs> Horace. Wek. WEC. No, no, you oh, sorry, -E pronounce it Wek. Well, it, it should have dots in it. It should have parentheses because then... I mean, you should have dots. That's how you know that it's an initialism. Look. Oh my god, it's locomotion. This is one of my spe favourite Spectrum games ever. Really? Yeah, it's like a, you build... It's like a puzzle game. Yeah. You have to like, you know, rearrange the track so the train can go round oh, from one yeah, side to the other. Oh yeah, that sounds really very stressful. And then, what's the time? Wow. Colin Software. Oh yes. Look at that, it's pure 80. Look at the instruction manual. Look at that. This is from Rubber Road Limited, otherwise known as Numskull Designs. What are these? I have PlayStation Socks, a numbskull power fast play and charge cable, which could be useful. Look at these PlayStation coasters, look, they're actually little PlayStation games. Oh, they're nice. Look at them. Oh, some pins. Look at the pins. Not, not for you. Look at these pins. Nice. Thank you, numbskull designs. Links below to heaven. <laughs> this 
<laughs> Heat sink? <laughs> oh god! He's just been so confused! <laughs> it is? Thanks, Taz. Much appreciated. Let's um, move on to the next. Whoa, fuck you! This is from Studio Cult again. The same people who sent me those pins. It's a T-shirt. It's a T-shirt. It's a T-shirt. Oh, it's a T-shirt. It's a T-shirt. It's a T-shirt. Transparency layer, which is nice. Good t-shirt. Like it. Like it a lot. Put it to the side. This is from Simulant Systems Limited, and it is, I think it's a Wi-Fi dongle for your PC that kind of um, emulates modems. Oh, nice. Retro Wi-Fi, so you can connect it up to like a uh, DOS PC and use programs like you would have done before. Like you can connect Duke Nukem up to a IPX network over a modem, I imagine, using this, but running it over Wi Fi, which is definitely worth a go. Nice. Thanks very much. It's a large yellow box. It's a large yellow box. Why is it so large? No one knows. Do you know? This is a large item. You've got my t-shirt on. You literally just what? put it's my t-shirt on. There's absolutely a bolt stick in here. What do you expect? Anyway, it looks nice on me. It does look nice on me. Does it? Does it, it actually? Yeah, it really does. Yeah. Looks very nice. I still want it back though. Can I have the t-shirt? Is that all right? Yeah, awesome. Thank you. I said yeah. Hinted yes. Thanks. There is no numbskull. No, numbskull designs have started doing headphones and they've sent me two headphones. Uh, Chris actually did say, um, I remember him saying, that one of these is for you, potentially. Really? Yeah. What do you mean potentially? Well, potentially, as in, he, I haven't quite decided where. So this is a new set of he live headphones that Numskull are doing, which look pretty nice. Be good for um, streaming. I have a bloody a get off the box. I'm not doing these unboxings with you again. <laughs> this Crash Bandicoot merchandise. More stuff from Numskull Designs. Thanks, Numskull and Chris from Games You Loved. Look at this. I've got a, a Crash Bandicoot, Crash Team Racing Nitro Fuel Cup. Proper. Metal. Look at that. Look at that. I'm going to drink my tea out of that. Oh yes, look at it. When did this come out? This came out months ago. Yeah. This is an incense burner. This is like a car incense burner. Oh, the incense comes out of his exhaust. That's pretty cool. Here we have a, a flat envelope which contains a copy of Wireframe magazine which was sent to me because... I have not read Wireframe magazine, but it looks quite interesting. Covers all formats. Nice. Thanks, Wireframe. Dear Nostalgia Nerd, please find enclosed two part leaflets for the IBM uh, Hursley Museum. The museum is not normally open to the public. However, on the 22nd of September, there's an open day. Oh, for God's sake, Peter! Yeah, we do need to go to that. Well... There's another, there's, there's another, there's another envelope for you here. Right. Look at this place! Yeah, we need to go. We do, look at this! Look at this room alone! It's worth it for that room alone! Look at that! Look at that! The IBM 705 look Data Processing that. System. Do you want to put it back in here? Thank you, James. Who is that? What is that? Yes. Okay. You my I just, it was just a reflex, I just picked up the start opening it. Okay, um, 
no note. PGA Tour Golf for uh, Windows 95 and MS-DOS computers. And great football for the Master System. Great football. The best football you can possibly imagine. I wonder if it shipped like this. It didn't need a, co a cover well, no. because of how great it's it is. Right. Thank you to whoever, whoever sent that. You've literally opened what? one of my items and now you're wearing it's my Christmas really jumper. It's very cold in here. I, that cut my neck. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay, yeah, I'll go. Okay. Just, oh, no, I'm just not camera. Get back over your I'm side. Sorry, get I'm over there. Real. Jesus. What is this? I mean, I sound like I'm living. Like, what, what is this? The last time I did one of these videos with my brother actually said to me, hey, is everything okay? Because he was quite rude to you. There's like a bit where I went to give you a hug and you were like, get the fuck off of me. And my brother was like, concerned for my world. Just because I've got such good acting ability. <laughs> <laughs> just such amazing actor. Yeah. Oh, this is NES Doom. This is Doom for the NES. Look. Look at this. I need to make a video about this because, well, it's Doom on the NES. This is sent to me by Andy Tate, who created it himself. He's made a video about how he created it on his YouTube channel as well, which is there and will be linked below. It's a pound HD link table for the Sega Genesis. Sent by gamesconnection.co.uk. Oh, it plugs into a Mega Drive original model or a Mega Drive 2 and converts it to HDMI. Well, that will be tested very soon. Thank you, Games Connection. I mean, this this is marked as extremely urgent. Pass it here, then. Have a little look, shall we? It, it is extremely urgent, and it's from Sega Europe. Oh, yes. Sonic Team Racing. Yes. No, this is definitely not yours. This is mine. I've been after this game since... Um, came out. And I've got a, a, a Numskull t-shirt from the Sega shop as well. Good stuff. Thank you, Sega Europe. I will post my comments on the game very soon. What are you doing? What are you doing down there? You're like a little office slug. <laughs> Dear Mr. Nerd, I hope, or at least enough as well with you, enclosed is the game I mentioned. I hope you and or Octavius enjoy it. Or I also include a manuscript of my screenplay. Oh yes, I remember you said you were going to send this. TWF, aka Stecodat. We could, we could, we could act out the. Parts. We could, we could act out. Yeah, we could, do, we could do an episode based oh, on I could it. Totally do that. It's a quack pack. And Numsco have released a new collection of like cosplaying ducks. It's a duck, yes. So they've sent me two of their cosplaying ducks, and. It's me as a duck! <laughs> Your face. This is the Nostalgia Nerd Tubbs Duck. Huh? Huh? Hmm? Yeah? No. No, okay. This is uh, the Vault Girl Duck. Oh, let me see the one. Look, I mean, that is I like that a one. lot of detail. That one's really cool. Do you know who that character is? Uh, vaguely, yeah. Yeah? What's have, she called? Uh, she's called Borderlands McGirlface. You can get lots of uh, ducks in various characters. <laughs> apparently, <laughs> apparently they're going to make uh, some Golden Axe ones and stuff like that, which I'm really looking forward to. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Stop laughing! It's just, it's such a bizarre choice for a... Yeah, it is, but it's quite cool. I know, I like it, it but cool. I just... It's, it's, I don't know why ducks. it makes me laugh they're so much, cool. it's a duck! You can collect lots of different characters, <laughs> and there's going to be video game versions too. Octavius. <laughs> I'll have that one. Thank you, Numskull. <laughs> and thank you for my uh, duck picture. Oh, yes, yes. Do you remember um, the BBC microcomputers? They used to have the turtle. The lo logo, off the logo programming language. Yep and used to have the turtle which used to roam about. You could program it to roam around. This is an Evive, or Evive starter kit where you can make this little uh, roaming buddy. Look at this Octavius, look. You, get, like, you can make like this little thing that drives about and you can program it. 
Hello Peter, I can't thank you enough to, for agreeing to review the Stempedia starter package. I'm really excited to try and share with the world what you think. And I will do this! Thank you, Abhishek. My opinion will follow shortly. But when I get round to it. So this is from Micro Zeet Publishing, who have sent me some Atari ST badges. Look at this, it's got look at these badges. Oh, they're magnets. And also, their latest book. So they published two of these before about the Atari ST and this, I believe, covers the Atari Falcon. So this is called the Atari ST and the Creative People. And some beer mats as well. Excellent stuff. Ah. The whole internet. This is the entire internet here. What, really? That's, yeah, we can unplug our connections now. Oh, fantastic. This is all we need. What the? Well, look at the state of this. Oh, it's one look of them! Look at that! Look at that, that's amazing! Look, that feels so weird to operate. Oh. Sidewinder dual strike. What was this even for? For like flight simulators and stuff, I think. What kind of plane has a stick like this? A, a plane does. A, just any plane? Yeah. Every plane has Every this. plane has that. Okay. If you want to be a pilot, you need to learn how to use one of them. I mean, that looks. I mean, it's pretty weird. Wee! It's so wangly. Hmm. <laughs> okay. So this company is supposed to be releasing this new computer, all-in-one computer, Ta uh, Taiwan Electronics. Um, and they messaged me to say that it wasn't ready in time yet, so they were going to send me some manuals instead. So they, they sent me a, a bunch of manuals for it instead. I don't know why I've got the manuals, but. It'll be good when the computer comes through. Oh, okay. This is from um, Retro HQ, and it this is this is something he's had to stop making temporarily because of like copyright issues with the SD card thing. It's like a Jaguar EverDrive. Yeah, I know. Basically, because I I messaged him and begged him for one. I didn't beg him, but I was kind of like. Yeah, he wasn't even able to fulfill all the orders. But basically, I can't show it, but this is a Jaguar EverDrive cartridge by Retro HQ, which um, I'm still going to make a video about. What's, what's he going to do? Is he going to stop making I don't know, I can't remember. I, I, I haven't checked in on what what's going on. Hmm. Much appreciated to Retro HQ. Thank you. I think there's a sweet stuck in your hair. There's a sweet stuck in your hair. Oh no, it's just a massive amount. Okay, here we've got a new BitBoy console. This is the Pocket Go. It's like the 20th one you've got now. Yeah, I know. I, well, I keep planning to do a video of them all together. Look, this, look at this. This is quite a neat little thing. Ah, oh, no, it turns off. Yeah, look, I'm looking at this. All right, okay, sorry. Oh, look at this. Mega Drive, NES, SNES. Oh, look at all these. Mortal Kombat 2. Right, just a reminder that I am sat here. That's going to be in the way of the camera, isn't it? Open the box! Well, I'm, try I'm trying this. I mean, this seems incredibly cool. Right, okay, uh, next box. Hello! Please find enclosed a random selection of stuff I've been meaning to send you for ages. Hope it's of some use to you. Regards, Alan Lonsdale, a.k.a. Xanthine. Ha <laughs> ha! Ha ha, look at this! It's all wrapped up. This is a cooler bag. Cool, cool, cool. Literally, cool. This is a SATA hard drive. Ah, oh, Taz! It escaped from Mars with a Sega Mega Drive. It's some computer mouses, yay! Computer m m m m mouses! A massive mice, bag of computer mice. Microsoft Word. We've got an IDE hard drive here. And oh god, the <laughs> lure of the temptress, the game I tried to play on Twitch but stopped quite quickly. Yeah. I mean, it's okay, but it's got such a complex system of instructions. Uh, like, you can literally do anything. You can tell a guard to do this with this with this. Oh, it's so hard to work out actually what to do because of all the free will you're given. Can you give me some more? It's a mega SD from Terra Onion.
complete Mega SD Sega CD hardware synthesized into FPGA. Oh yes, this thing can run Mega CD games on a Mega Drive from an SD card, as well as Mega Drive games and 32X ROMs, and it looks amazing. And it's got a built-in Master System FM core, so you can play Master System games with FM music where applicable. Bloody marvellous. Thank you, Terra Onion. Hi Peter, enclosed is the game X out, as well as a Game Boy game I found. Hope you enjoy them. Roy, I, mean, I can't find the Game Boy game. See if you can find the Game Boy game in there. So this is a Spectrum game called X out, which looks like... No! What did you do that for, you crazy mentalist? Wee. Roy. It's Christmas! Roy, you stiffed me up! It's Christmas! Roy! Yay! Look, here it is, right there! It's called Track and... Track... Track Meat. Yay! Tra <laughs> Thanks, Roy. Look at the commotion you got. <laughs> this isn't preschool. It's Roy's fault. I mean, it's it's absolutely everywhere. I hope you're aware. But literally everywhere. Okay. Next. It's another book by Kieran Hawking. A compendium of Atari 2600 games. How come I've only released one book in the time you've done like three? That's quite impressive, me. So here we have all the Atari 2600 or Atari VCS games. Again, paperback, £9.99. Good stuff. Oh my god. This is... Who's this? Oh, this is from Retro Future. This is from Elliot Cole. I mean, he sent this to me ages ago. Eh. Now, if you haven't checked out the Retro Future YouTube channel, please do so because he's got an excellent YouTube channel. Does a lot of stuff with handhelds, fixing handhelds, taking handhelds apart, playing with handhelds. Several cassette tapes, Sonic's 3D, a massive wad of Game Boy games, Japanese Game Boy games, compact flash memory card, a Belkin G Plus notebook card, some more cassette tapes. Whoa, this is one gigabyte! Whoa! Whoa! So much space! Whoa, so much space! So much So much space! Back. And this is a ThinkPad laptop. Look. 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 Nice. So shiny. It's too hard to play. True Blue Mini! These are cracking devices for the PlayStation Mini so that you can play many games. This includes 101, this includes 58. This is called the Crackhead Pack. And this is called the Fight Pack. Um, I, bet, I think it's just a USB stick that you plug into the PlayStation Mini and um, it becomes a much better console instantaneously. Mm. Hi, Ryan from Numbskull Designs here. We thought you enjoy the sample of our official Crash Team Racing Nitro Fueled Merchandise. Dice. Right, we need to get all this stuff. The commemorative medal. I'm wearing that wherever I go. <laughs> I'm, we I'm wearing that everywhere. We've got some car air fresheners. T-shirt. This <laughs> hoodie, which is quite vibrant. Uh, this cap is quite nice. This Nice cap. Nice cap. I like this cap. This toolkit of pins, they've fallen out, but that is nicely presented. Just generally a lot of nice stuff to do with Crash Team Racing. Thank you again, Numbskull. Much appreciated. <laughs> it looks like we're in some sort of Liverpool sketch. We are. Hey. Hey! What's going on? Okay, let's let's nip that in the bud. <laughs> final package. Finally. No, 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 this isn't the final package. There's another one somewhere. Oh, really? Yeah. Mm. So, oh, well. this is a massive collection of PC games, including Nox. Look at that, that looks amazing. I know it does. Eastern Front, this 
quite an eclectic selection here. West, Eastern Front and Western Front. And Western Front, Shogun Total War. Whoa. Interactive Sailing. That's the highlight. Microsoft Flight Simulator, 1998. Mist 3, Deer Hunt, don't like that one. Deer Hunt Challenge. Mad EA Sports. There's, there's, the pile's too big. Madden, Civilization, Toka Touring Card, FIFA 2001, T Dungeon Keeper 2. Excellent game. Red Alert 2. This looks amazing. Michelle Swan Figure Skating. Michelle Kwan. Michelle Kwan Figure Skating looks bloody incredible. And I would definitely be reviewing that. Free inside Michelle's good luck necklace. Oh, Do you think it still has it inside? Yes, it has. Look, it's, it's got, got a good, good luck. luck it's got a good it's luck got a necklace. Good necklace. Look at it. that. Whoa. That is incredible. I'm definitely reviewing that. There's no note. Was, was there a note? No, I can't see one. Okay, well, thank you whoever said that. I will find your name and put it below. Hopefully, this won't make you wait in a fucking cup. That is a hefty lad. This. Is ah Ferranti computer from the 80s. It weighs a bloody ton. Oh, which look at this. Look, it weighs a shitting ton. But my uncle used to work at Ferranti. Oh so, God, yes, that is very heavy. So um, the chap sent me details about it, and I said, uh, yeah, I'd love to be in receipt of that because. It's amazing. It looks like an old IBM PC compatible. Does it work? I don't know. We will find out. It's got a network card. It's got a serial card. It's got a parallel port. It's a Ferranti computer systems beast. What year is it? I imagine 1982 or something like that. It's like an XT, XT based system. Anyway, that is, is that it? Is that everything? Yes, that that is it. all the post for this quarter half year, however, think however, it's definitely everything. Right? It is, I think it is. So thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me in Octavius. Thank you for joining us on this journey of unboxing glory, which was magnificent. Thank you for everyone who sent anything in. Um, if I've missed your name out in the video, it's because I couldn't find it. And I'll put it in the description below. Your battery pack's flashing. Battery? Yeah. Okay, thanks for watching and uh, see you soon. Goodbye. Look at, look at it's these. not your medal, it's look my medal. Take my clothes off. <laughs>